Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to install your rear reflectors and also the mirrors in front of your go-kart. Now, even if you're not going to register this and ride it on the road, it's always a good idea to have reflectors because when it gets darker, whenever you're riding with friends, it's going to be easier for them to see you and of course, not crashing you. So installing reflectors is really easy. You pretty much just mount it on the back. There are just a couple things you have to remember. First of all, if you notice, there's only one bolt coming out of this reflector but there are two holes right here. Now the reason for that is because whenever you mount your reflector, you don't want it to spin whenever you're uh, riding around hitting bumps. So what they did is they put a little nub. Let me see if you can see that little nub in the reflector. Your bolt goes in the one hole and your little nub goes into another hole. And whenever you put both of those lined up, then there's no way that your reflector can spin or move around. So there you go, your reflector is now mounted. Do the same thing on the other side. And guys, make sure not to tighten these too hard because these will crack probably easier than anything on your go-kart. So snug enough where they're not gonna fall off, but these are really easy to crack. So just watch out for that. All right guys, now that your reflectors are mounted, I wanna show you guys how to mount the mirror. Oh look, there's my camera. In the front of your go-kart. So whenever you get a mirror, you think, okay, just bolt that baby on there, easy enough. But then you stick it on and you start spinning the nut and if you notice, the bolt and the nut both spin. So you're like, what the heck's going on? Why can't this tighten? And what you actually need to do is, I'm going to show you guys right here because I don't know if I can get a good camera angle. There's a piece on your mirror. What you need to do is you need to take that off and that's let, that lets you access the top of the bolt. Now this bolt right here, I should have probably got this off before, is actually one that you need an allen wrench for. So let me guys show you the top of this, if I can take it apart real quick. So there's the bolt right there as you can see and actually it fits into an allen wrench as I said. So go ahead and grab your allen wrenches because you're going to need them. Now what this does again is you put it through the brace on your mirror and not only when you're installing it that this is how you do it, but anytime you need to tighten your mirror, for example if it's like too loose and flopping around, then this is how you access it. So let me go ahead and install this baby and uh, then we'll be good to go. So first thing you need to do is remove the plug from your mirror and then go ahead and mount it. And now go ahead and stick your bolt through and you'll see it pop through the bottom. Now just hand tighten the nut on the bolt right now. And mine is stripped a little bit so hopefully I can get it. There we are. Now take your Allen wrench, stick it in the head of the bolt, and tighten this baby up. Now what you want to do before you tighten this completely all the way is you want to get a general idea of where you want the mirror to be positioned. So go ahead and I'm not going to take you guys through that because obviously you probably know how to position mirrors. Go ahead and sit in the driver's seat or where the driver's seat's going to be. Adjust this and then you can finish tightening the nut. And when it's nice and tight, as you can see, this mirror isn't moving anywhere. So now the last thing you need to do is put your little cover on, little plug, whatever you want to call it. Check it out. It's good to go. Do the exact same thing for the mirror on the other side and then your mirrors are installed.